Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna tell you my favorite top 10 niche brands. I have so many niche brands in my collection. I have so designers niche, just brands in general. I have so many and I've tested lots and lots and lots of fragrances. But this top 10, these 10 fragrances, these 10 brands actually, because we're gonna have with some brands, I actually have 10 fragrances from one brand. Um, these 10 brands, I just love and adore. I love their DNA. I love everything that they do. So I'm going to do like a very, 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 the quickest review possible for each fragrance from this uh, particular brand that I have and that I love and adore. Uh, so yeah, if you want to know, if you want to find out, which are my top 10 niche brands that I have in my collection. Uh, stay tuned before we jump to the video. Okay, don't forget, if you like my channel, if you li like what I do, if you like perfumes, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. The first brand that we're going to talk about is Lorenzo Pataglia. I do have 11 fragrances. Yes, you heard me correctly, 11 fragrances. The first one and the newest one, Sugar Kisses, this is butter and sugar and brown sugar and burn sugar and more sugar. Love it, it literally smells like the color pink. Next one, one of the best vanillas, Van Ecstasy. Van Ecstasy is vanilla and more vanilla and more vanilla and a little bit of oud. Next we have Vampiram, same vanilla as Van Ecstasy, but this time we're having some patchouli and obviously rum. Cherry ink. Like the name suggests, it's cherry and ink. Amazing, absolutely amazing, so different. It's obviously a cherry perfume. We have so many cherries on the market, but this one has an ink, an ink note, which is very different. I've never smelled a fragrance that has an ink note. Evil Angel is this boozy, spicy, tropical, almost tropical fragrance. It has some fruitiness, but it's also boozy. Sweet Explosion is a spicy summery spring floral fruity it has a little bit of everything it has some coconut it has some lime it has some coffee it has some spices it's one of the most unique summer fragrances that you can find on the market extreme passion is going to be your fruit cocktail lots of fruits and tropical fruits and more fruits packs Similar fruitiness as the previous one, but this one is a bit more incense -y. It's a bit darker. It's a bit more for the nighttime. Summer Hammer. It's your mango, pineapple, coconut, freshy. Sexy. Hmm. And this is a very interesting one because it's a marine, but it's also um very sexy like i never thought that a marine fragrance can be sexy but if this one definitely is and the last one dream sea which is another aquatic marine but this one is a bit more aromatic and a bit fresher than the previous one moving on we have bdk bdk is a brand that i discovered a few years ago and i am just obsessed at the moment i do have seven fragrances from bdk my favorite one for sure is Rue Smoking. I've been raving about this one so many times. This is Tonka, Pepper and Cherry. Absolutely amazing, extremely, extremely sexy fragrance. Next one, Vanilla Leather. Vanilla Leather was released last year. Absolutely amazing. It's not just vanilla and leather. It's actually a very strong tuberose perfume. Tuberose, vanilla, it has something powdery as well and a touch of leather. Talking about tuberose, we have tuberose imperial. Love, love, love this one. It's your sweet, fun tuberose perfume. Passessoir. Amazing, amazing. White floor scent with some fruits, with some pepper again. Super sexy, super, super girly, super flirty, I would say. And then we're having Passessoir Extrait. The newest one, which is absolutely amazing. The last important projection on this is just incredible. It's just the darker six sister, the sexier sister. It's amazing. You need to try it. Gris Chanel. 
an amazing, amazing sandalwood fig cardamom type of scent, super unisex. And last but not least, Gris Chanel, extract, just like, again, a darker, sexier version of the original. Absolutely love it. Moving on, we have Kajal. The first one is just the original. This one is a beautiful, super elegant, uh, powdery rose. Honestly, it's so elegant, it's so refined. Absolutely love this one. Not that many people talk about it. Jihan, this is a sexy moment. This is for the nighttime, this is for the winter. Absolutely in love. Again, another rose. This is rose, wood, and saffron. You need to be into spicy perfumes to like this one. Next, we have Dahab, which is a fruit cocktail, which is delicious, which is amazing. Honestly, the tropical fruits in this perfume are just unbelievable good. And the next one, we're having a Lamar, which if you are looking for a pineapple and every pineapple fragrance, this is definitely going to be for you. Moving on, my favorite one, my absolute favorite fragrance from Kajal, Almaz. First of all, have a look at that cap. Can you see that gorgeous cap? This is raspberry and whipped cream. Absolutely love it, absolutely adore it. You need this in your collection. You definitely need this one in your collection. Masa is the next one. This is your fresh, aromatic, very, very aromatic fragrance. Quite unisex, maybe leaning slightly masculine with the same gorgeous, gorgeous cap. And the last two, Casual Free, which is a beautiful, freshy, again, super, super like zesty, beautiful perfume uh, that's gonna last the whole day, super unisex as well. And the last one, Casual Four, which is just incredible for the winter time. You need to be a bold person to rock this one because it's a leather perfume okay we're having some leather we're having some dates uh but it's absolutely amazing i just love it it's probably one of my favorite leather fragrances i have in my collection moving on to a brand i just adore and that is initio let's start oud for grayness just look at that gorgeous bottle oh my god that's a piece of art um basically an oud fragrance and some saffron i believe because it's very airy but very very strong this thing this fragrance in here is the strongest perfume that I have in my collection. Next one, another gorgeous bottle, Oud for Happiness. Oud for Happiness, um, it keeps the same Oud, but this one is aromatic. This one has some bergamot, okay? This one is different, so you definitely need to check this one out if you want to smell extremely unique. Let's start with some black bottles. We're having absolute aphrodisiac in here. Uh, what can I say? It's an aphrodisiac perfume. It's vanilla and amber, and I love it. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. Bless Baraka. Again, some amber, but this time we're having some orange blossom as well. Uh, this is an orange blossom that you can wear during the fall time with absolutely no problems. And the last one, Mystic Experience. I love 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 this one this one has some coffee sandalwood it's super creamy it's just unbelievable good and nobody nobody talks about it for some reason let's talk about some white bottles we're having a rehab which is a very aromatic fragrance okay i believe it has some lavender as well it's super elegant it's just amazing and the next one it's paragon which has this rose gold plate love it and um, this one is like a spicy plum if you ask me spicy aromatic plum um you definitely need to try this one and now probably my favorite line the purple one we're having in here atomic rose atomic rose is definitely an atomic atomic rose um it's super 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 sexy rose fragrance next one Side effect, side effect, oh, this one on a man is absolutely gorgeous. You're getting something boozy, you're getting some tobacco. It's so, so sexy for the winter time. Moving on, high frequency. 
high frequency is this amazing amazing hedion perfume uh, with some almonds uh, hedion for me smells literally like jasmine so for me this one is jasmine and almonds and the last one and the newest one it's a narcotic delight well i can say i can say perfection in a bottle this is perfection in a bottle it's boozy it has cherry it has tobacco it's it's everything it's my favorite one we are having Sospiro and we're having here their newest release Maraschino Maraschino it's an amazing amazing cherry fragrance this one has cherry it has apple it does have other fruits it's basically a fruit cocktail with cherry next one it's Dolce Melodia which has some gorgeous white florals okay and then we're having lots and lots of fruits again that like fruit cocktail but this time with some white florals Liberto, which is kind of like a fuzzy peach. Love it. It's airy, it's ozonic, and it's very peachy. Contralto. I cannot explain to you how much I love Contralto. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's powdery, it's creamy at the same time, it's a bit aromatic, it's everything. You need to try Contralto. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It smells so expensive. Like... You smell like money with this fragrance. Prima Donna. Prima Donna is like a dark, sexy scent. Um, I believe it has some patchouli. I believe it has some chocolate. Um, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. But it's a dark, sexy, nighttime, fall into winter type of scent. Next, we're having Bel Canto, which is going to be a sandalwood fragrance. Uh, you know how much I love sandalwood, so obviously, I love Bel Canto. Herba Pura Magica. This one is, again, a fruit cocktail, but very creamy. It's not scratchy like others from other brands. This one is very, very well blended and very, very creamy. And then we're having Pasticcio which pasticcio is kind of fresh in the opening but then you're getting this like woodiness in the dry down um amazing amazing unisex perfume basso which is gonna be your like more like masculine freshy zesty fragrance even though it's quite masculine i don't mind it i like to wear it myself as well and the last one, and the most popular one for sure from Sospiro, that is none other than Vibrato. This is my favorite um, fresh perfume. This is my favorite summer perfume. This is everything, and I feel like everyone needs to try it. The next brand that we're going to talk about is Stefan Humbert Lucas. I went a little bit crazy over this brand because I purchased seven fragrances in one year. The first one... Solide Jeda Mango Kiss, excuse the bottle, I know it has fingerprints, but it's a gold bottle. This is an amazing mango scent, it's a, li a little bit aromatic in the opening, but it's just a gorgeous mango scent. Another mango perfume, it's God of Fire, this time this one has more like a fresh, has this like lemony, zesty feel as well, but again, you're definitely, definitely getting the mango. A very unique scent is Pink Boa, which has some fruits, but then it has a vodka note. It's such, such a fun fragrance. One of my favorite ones, exclusive to Harrods, it's Ruby Naga. Ruby Naga is this gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla, slightly powdery. It's just divine. You need to try it. Honestly, it's, and look at that bottle. Just look at that bottle. Amazing. My favorite one from Stefan from Stefan Humble Lucas is Sundance. I cannot explain to you how much I love and adore this fragrance. This one is like chocolatey, but then some sandalwood, something boozy, has some whiskey. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Next we have Venom Incarnate. This one is Kind of like strawberry, like wild strawberries. So very realistic strawberry, okay. With a little bit of patchouli. And the last one, are you ready? Are you ready? Crying of Evil, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous buttery 
leather scent. Moving on, I do have a brand in here that actually I don't talk about it that much, but I just love it. I've got 10 fragrances from Carner Barcelona. The first one is going to be Cuir. This is the best leather fragrance if you're a beginner when it comes to leather. It's barely there, the leather, but it's super soft. It's so velvety and just like butter leather. It's amazing. Absolutely love this one. Again, even if you're scared of leather, try this. It's amazing. Next, we have my absolute favorite one from Carner, Palo Santo. I just love this thing, okay? It has some vetiver, it has Palo Santo, it's just amazing, it's stunning. Um, moving on, Tardes. Tardes. Tardes is this like aromatic, almost aromatic, I would say, um, almond scent. And the next one is Rima Onthe, which has a similar vibe to Tardes, but this one has more like a cinnamon vibe. Again, quite like resinous aromatic in the same time very hard to describe but they're just absolutely perfect for every day moving on the newest one and i love it revolution revolution um it's another leather kind of leather scent but this one it's every in the same time it's a bit powdery it's a bit ozonic it's just such such a gorgeous unisex fragrance next we're having bobo which Bobo is going to be your fresh white floral type of scent. It's perfect for holiday. Lucomori. Uh, this one is your fresh aromatic fragrance. Perfect for holiday. Marbella, which is your fresh rose. Perfect again for holiday. And two more perfect for holiday. The first one is Supermoon which my bottle is almost finished. Uh, this one needs a pomegranate fragrance with some rose with other floral notes as well. And the last one, Sal y Limon, which is salt and lemon and literally smells like salt and lemon. So again, perfect for holiday. Moving on to the next brand and that is Zerjaf. I do have Ivory Root which for me is kind of like a spicy, ambery vanilla. It's just divine. It's amazing. Nobody knows the real notes. Nobody knows the real notes, but it's just divine. Super unisex, amazing for the fall and, and winter. Uh, next one, we have Symphonium. This one is chocolate, orange, and some wood in the dry down. Super delicious, but very wearable as well. Cruz del Sur 2. This one is like a mango milkshake. You need to be into lactonic perfumes because this one has a milk note, but if you are, you're gonna love it. And the next one is La Capitale, which is this like strawberry peach with a bit of leather, a little bit of wood as well, super gorgeous. Just amazing for like a restaurant, a night out, something sexy, it's just gorgeous. Moving on to the Casa Moratti line, we have Bouquet Idyll. This one is kind of like a spicy sweet again. It has some fruits in it, it has some amber in it. It's super unique, it's absolutely gorgeous. Italica, you know how much I love Italica. This is an almond croissant, it's delicious. You need to be into super realistic gourmand fragrances, but I just adore it. Lira, which everyone knows. This one is like an orange lemon cheesecake. It's just delicious. I just love it. Look at that bottle. I adore it. Dama Bianca, which is a powdery vanilla. And then it has some kumquat as well. It's super elegant. It's super feminine. It's just amazing. And the last one, we're having Dolce Amalfi which Dolce Amalfi for me smells like a spicy bubblegum, like a spicy pink bubblegum. is just amazing for the summer time, especially because it's that unique. Moving on to the next brand, and that is Ex Nihilo. Absolutely love this brand, absolutely love their fragrances, and I do have seven of them. The first one and the most popular one, Flor Narcotique. 
everyone loves floor narcotic and i do understand why because this is just gorgeous you're getting peony orange blossom some peach it's just your perfect perfect feminine spring summer type of fragrance next we have gold immortals which literally smells like liquid gold if money will have a scent it will be this one next we have um a scent that is spicy okay but it's also very refined and that is venenum kiss this one has some like nutmeg this one has like, i believe some amber as well it's a spicy but very sophisticated fragrance in the same time my favorite one and my first ex nihilo explicit explicit has peony it has some praline it's unbelievable good it's unbelievable sexy if you want to get one from ex nihilo try explicit and thank me later okay moving on we have vendomania this is basically a powdery creamy wood fragrance it has iris and it has oud it does have other notes as well but these are the main two notes and it's super elegant and refined and two more perfumes we are having amber sky amber sky like the name suggests it is a amber fragrance it's super super potent it's very spicy as well it's one of my favorite amber perfumes and actually i'm not the biggest fan of amber but i just love this one and the last one we're having is Brompton Immortals and this one is going to be your vanilla with some patchouli but again super elegant super gorgeous absolutely love it and the last brand that we're going to have in here is M Mikalif the first one is their newest release and that is O Feminine this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous, super feminine Neroli fragrance. The next one, and one of my favorite ones, is Spiritual, which is, again, that like amazing summer fruit cocktail. But this one is very airy. I'm not really sure if it has any, like, saffron, but it gives like the feeling that it has some saffron, and then it's a fruit cocktail. It's delicious. It's amazing. Um, something darker is Glamour which is a very indolic jasmine. I feel like if you're a fan of Alien or that type of jasmine, you're absolutely going to love this one, especially because it is not soapy. It's like true, true jasmine. The next one is the Lis, which is a very creamy oud fragrance, if you ask me. Normally, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, oud, but this one in particular is gorgeous. It's super elegant. It's not necessarily spicy. It's like I said, it's very creamy. Moving on, we're having gin tonic, which is just a gorgeous scent for the summertime. Um, this is more masculine, but I like to wear it myself as well. Um, it smells like the name. It smells like gin tonic, okay? Moving on, definitely their bestseller. Ilang in gold. Look at that bottle. Look at that juice. Unbelievable. This is Ilang Ilang. It has some coconut. It smells like money, it smells like you're on holiday in Monaco, in Saint-Tropez, in Cannes. It's amazing. It's just amazing, honestly. Moving on. Ilang in gold nectar. This one is just a bit more intense, okay? A bit more intense than the original. And again, look at that gorgeous bottle. Watch. I'm not really sure if they're actually making this anymore. I believe they still are, but they just changed the bottle. This is a gorgeous bubblegum tuberose, okay? If you're into bubblegum tuberose, I'm sure, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. Next one is Mon Parfum Cristal. Again, I'm not really sure if they're still making this one. I hope they are because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous caramel and rose fragrance. The rose is really powdery, it's sweet, it's delicious, it's amazing. And the last one, it's not ebony. They changed the bottle, but they are still making this fragrance. Not ebony is this powdery vanilla, slightly boozy. It's a dream. It's an absolute dream. Right. Whew lots and lots of fragrances i know if you want a more 
detailed review just search my name here on youtube and then search the name of the fragrance and you should find you should find a more detailed review but obviously we have so many fragrances i couldn't give you a full-on review for each of them uh so yeah that was it for today let me know please let me know in the comments down below i'm really curious which are your top 10 niche brands if you don't have a top 10 maybe a top five but let me know which brands what niche brands you absolutely love and adore um there are two other niche brands that i just love but i said i'm not gonna include them just because i work with them i'm talking about navitus and i'm talking about their sister company viva more absolutely love these two brands i just adore them but i said i released two fragrances with navitus maybe it's not fair but i love them like that's my top brand that's my top brand if you ask me uh but I just love them. I just love them. And Viva More, this is the company. It's amazing. But that's why. That's why. Because I created two fragrances with Navitus. I said, you know what? I'm not going to include these two brands, even though they're definitely in my top 10. Uh, but I'm going to include other ones that I just love a lot as well. Uh, so, yeah. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And like always, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.